Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Bukhar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching word, truthfully and sincerely. As well, too. And I say Shalom to the elders out there. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching word, truthfully and sincerely, as well, too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out. The title of the lesson is uh, 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1 through verse 5. And it reads of the apocryphal books of the Holy Scriptures of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, when thou seest the parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right, so we got to look out for these uh, signs and measure the time diligently in itself. That's why we're uh, on our watch as being watchmen unto the house of Israel. We're out there on the highways and hedges, uh, sounding alarm, blowing trumpet, uh, prophesying, uh, preaching, and teaching. And that's when we uh, do great ministries of the uh, Havashai, which is our Lord and our Savior. The uh, sound doctrine of the Heavenly Father, uh, only begotten Son, Yahavashai, the ministries of Yahavashai. That's why we're measuring the time diligently in itself. Uh, watching out for these major events, uh, global events, uh, prophecies that's about to be fulfilled, and increasing biblical signs as well, too. That's why we're measuring the time diligently in itself. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 2. And it reads, it says, Then thou shalt understand, it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. He's uh, definitely uh, visiting this earth with these uh, weather-like conditions. You know, the tornadoes, the earthquakes, the landslides, the floodings, the uh, pestilence, the plagues, the famines, etc. So he, that's only going to continue to increase. And the Heavenly Father is going to continue to increasingly visit this earth, which he made because he's the creator of everything, because he's the only true living power. Which is uh, Yahweh is his true name in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashon Kadash, the Holy Tongue. So the Heavenly Father is definitely going to continue to uh, visit this earth now, so more than ever. And this is a uh, Second Ezra chapter nine, verse three. It says, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars and people of the world, right? That's what we've been seeing throughout the whole year of 2023. Uh, earthquakes in diverse places." And uprises and uproars in the people of the world. Uh, so that's going to continue. That's going to uh, continue to increase. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter nine verse four. It says, "Then thou shalt understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, from the, from the, even from the beginning." Right. These are the signs that the Most High spake about and spoke about. Mm -hmm. What's calling you in the hospital? Right. Yeah. And that, and that, I got this thing, I put your person in. Right. I know, I mean, somebody called the key lately. Huh. I said, so somebody keep calling the key, that's what happened to you. See, that's why I didn't get that. Right. That's the answer that they sent to that. Mm -hmm. And she hung down by that person. Right. I said, you see? Call somebody ain't got nobody to work for. The government ain't never took me about this shit. Right. Yeah. Carry them. Mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. really is the impossible. Right. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Hey, he out of work. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do this shit. You're going to come in now. Okay. Hey, you can play it. 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 I guess you could. Yeah, I'm talking about that. No, you keep late out there. She can't go in there by that tank. Yeah. You're not crazy. They had hell she did. <laughs> so, she let them blow it up. Boom! <laughs> right. See, Junior you don't watch all of that. See, why she come over here and run? Because mm -hmm. those parts are big. She got something to run. Right. Those parts are small. That's enough for him to do. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Alright, man. Okay. Right. Uh, continuing on. 
This is a uh, second Ezra chapter nine verse four of the apocryphal books of the holy scriptures, and it reads: "It says, Then thou shalt understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right? Where these are the signs that the heavenly Father spoke of, spoke about, and we are taking heed to it." Uh, like I mentioned again, these are increasing biblical signs and prophecies that's about to be fulfilled. And this is a uh, second Ezra chapter nine verse five, and it reads of the apocryphal books of the holy scriptures, and it reads, for like all that is made in a world and had a beginning and an end is manifest. Right. So the signs are there. The signs are being manifest. You know the biblical signs. Uh, biblical uh, signs and prophecies about to be fulfilled global events, major events, uh, biblical signs, prophecies are being manifested. And the beginning of the end is being manifest right now as we speak, slowly but surely, and it's going to continue to increase that way. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying. As the title of the lesson, once again, was uh, Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1 through verse 5. And that was the title of the sit down lesson. So with that, I to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for pushing the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, pushing the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.